When I take your cataract out, uh, I have to put a, a new lens back into your eye. And choosing which lens to put back into your eye is now a, a key component of uh, cataract surgery. To understand the range of choices, sometimes it's worth going back in time uh, and looking at the history of, of, of cataract surgery. So once upon a time, we simply took your cataract out and uh, put in our best guess. And then you went to your optician after four weeks, picked up a new pair of glasses, and uh, that was normal. So we, we simply assumed that you would need a new pair of glasses after your cataract surgery. Then progressively, our measurements of your eye became better and better. And the lens we could put back into your eye um, was a, a fixed focus monofocal lens. And then we would try uh, and give you either very good distance vision, and then you'd put on your, your, your reading glasses, or uh, if you preferred reading, we would give you uh, very good reading vision, and then to drive, you'd put on your, your driving glasses. Uh, and then obviously the desire was to give you a better and better vision over a larger range. The, the concept being, of course, that the, the vision we want to restore is the vision of your youth, when you could see potentially in the distance and up close. And lens development then started to try uh, and make multifocal lenses. So a lens that would take a third of the distance light, a third of the intermediate light, and a third of the near light, and give you three different blur circles. And you then technically, you could see in the distance and you could see near, but these different blur circles meant that you weren't using all the available light, and you had to learn to ignore the uh, areas, the, the, the bits of light that were focused on the lens that weren't where you were observing. So all the multifocal lenses uh, gave glare. And for some people the glare was tolerable, uh, but for other people the glare was an issue and it could actually make night driving quite difficult. As, as an alternative, uh, people say, well, why don't we take the monofocal lens, set one eye for distance, and set the other eye for a bit closer in? And this was called monovision, and uh, was very popular, but for some patients, they found the fact that the image was slightly different in each eye, uh, they found that quite quite an, difficult to learn how to use and again some patients didn't like monovision. Then a monovision was adjusted to be mini monovision where one eye was set for distance and the other eye was set for really quite long arm's length but this made the two eyes uh, closer to each other uh, and gave a, a, a better over, overall patient satisfaction. And then most recently has come a new lens design called an extended depth of field lens. And the extended depth of field lens does just that. If you put the lens in the eye and set the eye to look in the distance, then that eye would get distance and intermediate vision. And then if you take the same uh, approach in the other eye, and put in an extended depth of field lens to give intermediate and near, the two lenses then overlap. And so using two extended depth of field lenses in your eyes gives you a large range of vision with a much smoother junction between the two eyes. And so uh, this is currently uh, a very popular uh, solution for how to give you a really large range of vision that's comfortable. It's fair to say that using two extended depth of field lenses you're still not going to be able to read 
are up close in bed. So to read in bed, you're still going to need a, a pair of, of, of reading glasses. Whereas with a multifocal lens, you can see distance and all the way up close, but with the glare. And the other thing with the multifocal lens is the intermediate vision, so computer vision, and sometimes TV, is also not quite as good as with the extended depth of field lens. So lots and lots of choices now, lots of things to discuss, and as ever, the most important thing is that the lens choice is totally individualised to you, your vision, your desired uh, vision, uh, your activities, your hobbies. In other words, it should be very bespoke.